welcome to an exciting weekend here on our St. Ambrose campus. We are celebrating the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time, which means everything is in green. But what's super exciting about this weekend is that we're having our parish festival. We didn't get to have it last year because of the pandemic, but this year everything is alive up here on campus and everything is so much fun. So I hope that you guys can join us Bring your parents, bring your friends, bring your aunts and uncles and cousins and grandmas and grandpas, because it is a blast up here with the rides and the food and the games and the prizes. Come on up and join us on this 13th week of Ordinary Time in our Catholic Church. Now we are gonna start our children's liturgy this weekend with a game. I know you guys all love games. And this is a guessing game. Are you guys good at guessing games? We'll see. Well, this guessing game is based on the story of my friend Jack. It was Jack's eighth birthday, and he was turning eight on July 8th. That means it's his golden birthday, a very special birthday where you're turning the age on the date of your birthday. So July 8th, on his eighth birthday, is his golden birthday. Now, his dad wanted to do something so extra special for him, and his dad, thought it would be fun if Jack could guess the gift before he got it. So at breakfast on his eighth birthday, Jack's dad wrote hidden clues on what his gift was on bright red pieces of paper. And as soon as Jack guessed correctly, the gift would be his. So Jack's dad let me borrow his hidden clues on the red paper, and we're gonna see if you guys can guess. Now, I want you to keep track and see how many guesses it takes for you to see what Jack's gift was. Jack needed all 12 guesses to guess correctly. Let's see how you guys do. So number one, it will help you see far and wide. All right, number two, it will lift your spirits. Number three, it's something to enjoy outside. Anybody think they know it yet? Let's move on. Number four, it's too big to put into a box. It's colorful. That's clue number five. Anybody have any ideas yet? All Jack needed his dad to keep on going. Number six, it's fun. That's an easy clue, but that can mean lots of different things. Number seven, it's something you do with others. Anybody getting close? We only have four more guesses left. It's solid on the outside, but airy on the inside. That's a good clue. Number nine, it will make you feel lighter than air. Anybody getting close? Number 10, you can enjoy it only in good weather. Everything has to be perfect outside. Number 11, you can get carried away with it. All right, anybody think that they know what it is yet? Here's our last final clue. One part of it is a basket. All right, now with all of our clues, does anybody have any idea what Jack's eighth birthday gift was? The answer is that it was a hot air balloon ride. Did anybody guess that one? I hope you did, and maybe on your golden birthday, your mom and dad can play a guessing game with you, too. Well, in today's gospel, Jesus surprises a big crowd of people with a miracle that shows his great power over life and death. So put your listening ears on, and we are going to listen to Jesus' story. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus got into the boat and crossed Lake Galilee. Then he stood there on the shore. A large crowd gathered around him. The person in charge of the Jewish, Jewish meeting place was also there. His name was Jairus. And when he saw Jesus, he went over to him. He kneeled at Jesus' feet and started begging him for help. He said, my daughter is about to die. Please come and touch her so she will get well and live. Jesus went with Jarus, 
Many people followed along and kept crowding around. A while later, some men came from Jairus' home and said, your daughter has died. Why bother the teacher anymore? Jesus heard what they said, and he said to Jairus, don't worry, just have faith. Jesus did not let anyone go with him except Peter and the two brothers, James and John. They went home with Jairus and saw the people crying and making a lot of noise. Then Jesus went inside and said to them, why are you crying and carrying on like this? The child is not dead, she is just asleep. But the people laughed at him. And after Jesus had sent them all out of the house, he took the girl's father and the girl's mother and his three disciples and went to where she was. He took the 12 year old girl by the hand and said, Talitha Kum, which means little girl, get up. The girl got right up and started walking around. Everyone was greatly surprised, but Jesus ordered them not to tell anyone what had happened. Then he said, give her something to eat. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What a powerful story, isn't it? Jesus loved healing people. That was his favorite thing to do. So this is one of his favorite stories. Now, how did Jairus, the dad, how did he show his faith at the very beginning of our gospel? Well, he asked Jesus to come heal his sick daughter because he knew that God, that Jesus had great power and he, anything was possible with him. And what happened before Jesus got to the house of Jairus? The little girl died. And why did the people think Jesus should just go home after that? Well, they didn't know that Jesus could raise people from the dead. Some didn't know that heaven was even a place that we could live after death. What did Jesus prove by raising the little girl from the dead? Well, he proved that he can do that and that he would do it one day for everyone. When he comes back, he will raise us all from the dead to be with him in heaven. Now, how do you suppose the girl felt when she came back to life? I bet she was so thankful she could still be with her family here on earth. And she was probably very excited about all of the amazing things that she saw when she spent some time in heaven too. Do you want to come back to life after you die? I know I do. And I hope to see what beautiful things God has in store for us in heaven too. Now at the beginning of our day here in Children's Liturgy of the Word, we learn some hints that Jack's father gave to him about his birthday gift. And in today's gospel, we learned about some hints that Jesus gave his followers about eternal life. If we believe in Jesus, just like Jairus, the little girl's dad did, we can go to Jesus for eternal life and eternal happiness as well. Now eternal life and eternal happiness will be for us like a second chance at an earthly life. That's exactly what our little girl got in the gospel today. We will see Jesus face to face and we will be reunited with our family and our friends again. Just as the little girl was given something to eat, so too in heaven, we will be given everything that we need. So let's stand up and let's shout to the world what we believe because it's so important to let other people know. When I raise my hands, I want you to say, yes, I do believe. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, who gave you life so you could live forever? Yes, I do believe. Do you believe in God, the Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us about eternal life through his words and his actions? Yes, I do believe. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit, Lord and giver of life now and forever? Yes, I do believe. Now fold your hands and bow your heads and put Jesus in your heart as we say our prayers to God. Let us pray for an increase of faith, hope, and love for ourselves and for all those who we hold dear that one day we will all be together with God in heaven. And when I raise my hands during our prayers, I want you to say, hear us, O Lord. Hear us, O Lord, 
that all the leaders of the church will have the same deep faith in Jesus that Jairus had. We pray, hear us, O Lord. That all the world's sick will have the same hope for healing that Jairus had for his daughter. We pray, hear us, O Lord. That all the world's dying will have hope for eternal life. We pray, hear us, O Lord. That all of us here will have the same love for God and neighbor that Jesus said would lead us to everlasting happiness, we pray, hear us, O Lord. Now put that one person in your heart who really needs Jesus' love and that hope for this week. And let us pray, loving God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, you have taught us to believe in eternal life and to live every day in faith, hope, and love. May we recall these lessons often throughout the coming week through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. So remember, Jesus loved to heal and he loved to, to, to show people what he could do because with Jesus anything is possible. Now I'm going to go out this weekend and I'm going to have a great time at our parish festival. So I hope you can join us and I hope that you go out and you tell everyone that you love God and what Jesus can do for us. Have a good week, everybody, and we'll see ya.